Uh, hey guys, welcome back. This is a video that I'm doing in the middle of the night. I couldn't sleep, so I decided to give you guys a video on a dream that I had once. Um, this is a real dream, and it's also has a theme of bending like a machine. And also, I might just be doing this video mainly just to release my fan, how much of a fan I am of Bendy Doll. Bendy and Link Machine off my chest. So, yeah, there might be spoiler alerts. I mean, spoilers. So, spoiler alerts. So, yeah. Sorry, I'm tired and can't think right. Okay. So, one time I had this dream where I was, like, outside of the house. And then, for some reason, a house that was the exact same house across the road fell on top of it. And this girl came out, like, named Chris. Dolia or something, I don't know. And um then she's like, Hey and then we ended up going down this hill and like we ended up going into this boat with the lights were like a robin's egg blue or something, I don't know. But then we ended up being in Bendy and Ink Machine, which was really weird. And well I was just in the hallway before we see Samuel Lawrence walk across in Chapter 2 with the Bendy and Link Machine, Bendy and Link Machine, Bendy poster. Oh, cardboard cutout, sorry. I'm tired. And for some reason, I'm just standing there walking around in circles like this. And I'm just like looking down like, run, Henry, run, for no reason. Then I end up walking down the the weird uh pool of ink where Sammy Lawrence walks across is just like okay <laughs> but apparently it wasn't just an opening this time. It for some reason there's a door. And he just opened. And then I follow him through I follow him uh, quickly and you know how I am about uh, him disappearing and then there's a hole in the wall so i'm like what if he goes through there because that would make a lot more sense than someone just disappearing so i end up like watching him like walk to and into the hole in the wall like that how majestic and then i end up following him to a room with a puppy and for some reason i just stare at the puppy and then it sprouts wings and floats through the roof and behind it is bendy and yeah that was that dream. But anyway, back to showing up how much I l l like Bendy and Ink Machine so I can get that weight off of my chest. One, I made every single poster in Bendy and the Ink Machine. Also, my friend said it wrong once and pronounced it. Instead of Ink Machine, she said Bendy and the Inker Machine. <laughs> and it was weird. I also made some just pictures like that this adorable thing <laughs> uh this 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 uh, i don't know where the other picture is um i make costumes for every single character except for the butcher gang and art class we were making clay stuff and I made pretty much every single character in Bendy and Ink Machine so far I think that I bleh, that I did um and Boris is trouble staring up <laughs> did you know it's really really hard to make Samuel Lawrence, Samuel Lawrence bleh, uh, Norman Polk out of clay I tried and he fell off the table a couple times, so he, he looks like a doofus. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he was really weird and hard to make, although he's my favorite character, so I didn't give up. And, yeah. I... My fingers sometimes, like, I find, like, them really hurting and still have the same cuts from whenever I made it. The Sammy Lawrence monstrosity st stuffed animal um yeah also i made every character plushy except for alice and boris I, I i was lazy and bought them that time i'm spending almost all of my allowance 
just to buy the bendy link machine Funko Pops. Something that I'm guilty of is that I accidentally say, I accidentally call them the Meatly Wheatly from like Portal, like Portal 2. It, I don't know if he's in Portal 1. I don't think so, but, he, but also I accidentally call Wheatly from Portal Meatly. And I'm like, what? That's the Pierre Bendy Link Machine, not this weird robot that's a circle with a face on it. <laughs> also, I made them before, clay figures before, but they fell apart. Hello. I was my friend Saul's, but they didn't have ears on it, like, right now. And then my friend thought it was Bendy and, like, ran into my closet. But then there was a fly, so she ran out and freaked out about the fly. I, I made this thing. Hmm. Rawr. I made an entire Bendy costume. It's, it's depressingly enough. I made a, j ugh, a jacket. And I used Sharpie marker and it took forever. And now my jacket smells like Sharpie. I mean, fabric marker, sorry. And uh, I drew Bendy. Yeah, I draw it a lot. One time I wanted to decorate um, a bookmark, and I didn't know what to do on it, but I ended up just drawing Bendy, because apparently my brain already knows what to do. Also, I think it's funny how Bendy is drawn the way you would draw a cat. Met in that. Yeah. And also, I'm sorry, my chin was itchy. And also, his head looks like a croissant. A fat croissant. And one of my characters likes croissants a lot. Crystal. Yeah. And even I got into, like, even more into, like, old cartoons. I still was, but, like, I got even, like, more into it. Even one of my characters is old cartoon. Hey, buddy. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey buddy. Hey bud. By the way, it's a comic. This is a comic. I'm... Yeah, it's really fun. I really like it so far. Um, sorry, checking some. Also, I decorated my dollhouse overloaded with bendy and then commission stuff. You probably already know, and <sighs> yeah, I even made a Bendy and Christian comic. It's it's terrible. So yeah. Also, here's something I laughed about. Um, sometimes if I actually use like m measurements and actually try to have a good Bendy drawing, he always ends up looking very fat. <laughs> yeah. In those drawings that I make, he ends up looking very fat. I don't know why. <laughs> in my, my best bendy drawing, it looks so fat, it almost looks like he was pregnant. <laughs> Which is impossible, because he's not female. <laughs> Let's see if I can find it. It's hello. <laughs> I'm not wearing my glasses, so I can't see anything. Uh, where do they go anyway? <laughs> Sorry, there's no one down here. I'm gonna have to show my flashlight. Yeah, yeah. What is this? Is it? no, it's not. Anyone here? Uh, where's my glasses? I can't see. Now I got a song stuck in my head. <laughs> Great. I also have a song uh, for Bendy and the Ink Machines usually stuck in my head. Beautiful. It's literally called Beautiful. It's by Los Angel. And it gets stuck in my head a lot. So step one out of that stuff. You're laying in bed and you think of the song. Step two, you start humming the song. Step three, you're awake all night singing. The next morning, you're at school singing the song all day. But then, there's only one thing to do. Hi, hi Bendy.
Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's try to find that awkward picture. Oh, this was a good picture. Uh, it, it was on one of these papers. Uh, what's this? Two... Something? I don't know. Um, I can't see very well. I know it's up there before. I guess I moved it. Did I put it on the floor? I don't know and I don't care. Well, if I ever find a drawing, I'll show you guys, okay? Um, but, yeah, it was really good. Yet, yeah, he looks fat. <laughs> um, anyway. Also, um, yeah, I have a lot of dreams, actually, that have been bending the ink machine lately. I don't know why. And... My foot just got growing pain just now. Crap. <laughs> um, yeah, one sec, what, what's going on? Okay. I'm trying to, ow, ow. Why? I find myself always listening to Bendy and the Ink Machine songs. I'm guilty of liking this game a little bit too much. <laughs> I'm addicted. <laughs> Now, um, I have, like, a lot of characters. Yeah, all right. Um, I get a little guilty with Jazzy. Was it Jazzy? Uh, me, me, yeah, Jazzy. And, uh, because he looks a lot like Bendy. And, like, h how did our minds create something... Like, so close. Ah, so I kind of, like, forgot all about him because I was afraid that people were going to be like, oh, is that Bandy? No, it's Jazzy. What's a Jazzy? What you were just looking at, woman. Woman. It's a woman. Um, but, yeah, I felt bad about that guy, and I just remembered him, like, not too long ago. Can't talk. Not too long ago, so, yeah. Also, I'm really quiet, because it's really late, and I'm not supposed to be up right now. Um, Bendy the Ink Machine kept me drawing. Without it, I would probably not be drawing anymore. Don't ask why. <laughs> Um, also, it, it made me learn a lot more about animation and helped me be more interested whenever someone's like, do you want to do animation class? Yeah! And didn't help at all whenever I thought that Ink Nib was a very funny name for, for what an Ink Nib is, which is like an old pen, and it's really, really weird. And you, you have to put an ink well, and it's, it's like, help me. They're really hard to use. I had to use one once. If the little points on the sides kind of go up, then say goodbye to everything you loved, because it's going everywhere. The ink. Don't don't think the things you love, they aren't going everywhere. Uh, but it, then it's really terrible. But, uh... It's also hard to make, like, round things with it, like, a fat croissant. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I just wanted to slap Sammy Lawrence in the face for some reason. I don't know why. So I just slap this thing over, and I'm just like, you're welcome. What can I say except you're welcome? You're welcome. Besides, I'm tired. The face of butt sniffing. Okay, so, um, also, Bendy and the Ink Machine. I make uh, pretty much anything for Bendy and the Ink Machine. Uh, yeah, sadly enough. And, uh, 
So it looks weird. <laughs> uh, I accidentally mistakenly called Jazzy Bendy and Bendy Jazzy. Don't 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 tell Jazzy. Just let him let him live his life free from knowing this. Anyway, that's all I got to do today. Bye!